Hello, I'm Danny and welcome to Black Hat Betting. Um, thanks to everyone that's commented on my previous videos. I'm trying to take on everyone's comments and suggestions and ideas all on board. Um, there is so much to learn with this. I, I had no idea it was going to be as difficult and as complicated as it is. But I'm determined. Um, I'm making a few changes to the way I do things. Um, and someone commented the other day that um, maybe I shouldn't be doing this uh, when I'm working full time. Um, well, I actually own a number of internet companies and I don't really work because um, I've set things up to run themselves so I don't have any distractions as such um, a couple of days a week I may have to do something but I try and get most of that done in the morning so yeah and also um, as far as offices and space is concerned I have a huge office in a soundproof room inside my own house so yeah I'm kind of set up in that front um, but yeah there's been yeah been lots of comments lots of ideas so thank you for that um, I've started reading the Mark Douglas book, the the mind trading book. I can't remember what it's called actually, um, and that's been quite good. And reading through the checklist, it kind of highlights kind of exactly how I've been trading. So I'm looking forward to reading and getting to the end of that, um, as I think it's going to help. However, um, I'm going to try and keep my head in the markets as much as I can. Um, I'm going to select and be really picky about the things I do attempt and trade, um, but. I think, and as a lot of you have said, it's very important just to keep looking at the markets and keep trying to, you know, just just be involved and submerge yourself in it. So, yeah, thanks to everyone that is commenting um, and helping me out. I, I, I don't expect anyone to give me their secrets away. I totally appreciate it. I need to find my own way and find my own style. Um, but please do keep um, leaving comments and, and whatnot. So, yeah, so enjoy the video today. And hopefully this week is a better week than last week. Last week was horrific. Um, so yeah, so stick around and I'll catch up with you at the end. Right, this is going this is going a lot better than uh, I uh, could anticipated. Much better. So I'm going to get out in a second because I don't think it's going to go much further. Yeah, around there somewhere I think. Done. £2.55, good enough. Still got three minutes to go, but I've also subscribed to Racing UK now as well. So I've got live horse racing on my other screen because I run a three screen setup. And so that should make um, things a little bit easier and a little bit better. Um, so yeah, right, let's crack on and see what we can do for the rest of the day. And as expected, it started drifting back out again, which is good. So I got out at 2.52 round here and it's now back up here again so yeah um yeah quite happy with that right next race well so far so good um i'm in profit so far on the day um this here karar is 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 a rubbish market there's no money going in it at all so i'm just watching it and then i'll have a look at the next race in a bit when this finishes um, but yeah, it's got no money coming at all. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I feel a little bit more confident. I've got kind of, I've kind of getting, yeah, just feel a little bit better about it to be honest. Um, so we should see how it all goes. But yeah, I'm trying to remember to not chase my losses. That's the hardest thing. So I'm trying to keep the losses to a minimum. There's only been, I think, let me just check. I think I've only lost two races so far today out of nine or ten so you know not too bad um and they've not been massive losses either so it's not been too bad anyway right enjoy the video and i'll catch you in a bit well it's going pretty good today um not got many races left i don't think um i've bought racing uk subscriptions that's helped a little bit but they only seem to cover a couple of races so um, i don't know whether i'm missing something there um but as i'm recording this i'm two pounds 71 up on the day and i've mind you i've just lost like 80p so it'd be about a pound up i should think by the end of the day but a profit is a profit good direction anyway um but yeah so far i've done 13 races and only lost three of them so yeah not too bad I don't think um, just need to 
keep going and keep taking on all the advice that I keep getting and hopefully we'll start seeing a bit of consistency. But anyway, right, catch you in a bit. Right, so we're at the end of the day now. Um, there's a few races left, but I can't be bothered to be honest. So, um, 17 races I've traded and I only lost four. So, not too bad. And I actually turned a profit, which happens to be my biggest ever profit at the end of the day with two pounds and six pennies, um, which is quite cool. Um, so, yeah, so thanks everyone that's been helping me, guiding me, giving me advice. Um, and all that hopefully tomorrow I might be trading tomorrow I don't know I'm out test riding bikes again tomorrow so um, but Wednesday I should be back in the office again so until then enjoy the videos please make sure you like share subscribe thumbs up and all that shenanigans and I'll catch up with you in the next video thanks bye Good afternoon and welcome to Blackout Betting, I'm Danny and today we're obviously on my 50k challenge which is going terrible. Um, so I've only had one profit all day and the rest have been losers and the, yeah, the last loser which was on Wednesday I think, yeah Wednesday, was it was just horrific. Um, so I've been revising hard, I've been trying to remember everything everyone's been telling me. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed with a bit of luck. Um, today would be better. I'd like to, you know, start profiting more often. Um, change. And, uh, yeah, so, right. Watch me trading today. Let's see how we get on. Right, well, what can I say? I, I started off badly, and then I started recovering, and I was down only £1.63, which is not too bad. And then... I've just done a race now, and there's lots of money going in, and it all looked good. And then it just started dancing around at like 20 ticks of pop, and it was stupid. Um, so I lost quite a bit on that one. I lost about 13 quid, I think. Um, 